Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. All right, guys, so since the time I got the OnePlus 5T, there have been around 15 to 16 videos that I've made, including one hate video for which I bashed OnePlus for having a paint quality issue. And that issue is still going on. A small update on that as of now is that uh, the service center manager called me today morning stating that OnePlus has denied the claim and they've replied to their email stating that this is normal wear and tear. Now, I don't really know a 43 days year old phone having paint chipping issues because of the official case, how that is. Uh, you know not a manufacturing defect but that's that's for later once that issue is taken care of or not taken care of I'll be making a separate video on that the main topic about today's video is well a lot of goodies like customizable goodies for your oneplus 5t I really love the phone I still use it as my daily driver and I would love to customize it so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the installation process of Magisk which is another form of root we will be installing it on the audio update the beta 2 that I'm running right now yes the beta 2 is out it is not officially out, but I have got my hands on it and I'm running that particular ROM right now. So we will install Magisk. At the same time, we will install Substrantum theme engine. We will check out a few popular themes. And after everything is done, we will go ahead and check out a few popular modules for Magisk for the OnePlus 5T. And if you have a request for any videos for the 5T that you want to see, please go ahead and mention them in the comment section. I'll be glad to make them for you. At the same time, uh, the Redmi 5A giveaway contest is going on. Please refer to the description box. Everything is mentioned there. Go ahead and participate. If the channel makes it to 4,000 subscribers before the end of January, I'll be giving away a brand new Redmi 5A. Once again, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's begin. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to install Magisk on this particular phone, the OnePlus 5T. You can ignore the iPhone X in the background. That's going to come tomorrow with, with some video, some random video. I don't know what it would be. It, it could probably be the unboxing. I may be switching to it. I really don't know. So yeah, uh, before we begin, the official TWRP. Now, as I'm running Android Oreo, the official TWRP was having problems. So there is a different TWRP released on XDA, which I'm using and which works just fine. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install Magisk and after installing Magisk, we will go ahead and see what all modules we can install and then we'll have a look at Substrantum. So that should sum up the video. But to begin with, uh, I have enabled the advanced reboot menu here. So if you long press the power button and then if you press reboot, if you go to recovery and tap recovery again, all right guys so as you can see we are in twrp and this one looks a little different from the official one so we will just go to install and as i downloaded it on the phone the images okay select the zip file swipe to flash so this is a very very small zip Magisk 15.2 is the latest version and that is what we are flashing it is basically a systemless root so if you have any banking apps which would ideally not work with uh, super SU they will definitely work as well as you will have uh, root access on Android Oreo beta and this is the TWRP you should be using so the link for TWRP Magisk and Substrantum Substrantum of course you can get it from the Play Store so we will just reboot system do not install so it's been a couple of days I've been using Magisk and there are some really, really useful modules, especially for audio files. There is Dolby Atmos and three or four different audio mods that you have for this particular phone. Then you have the Pixel experience, which almost converts your OnePlus 5T into a complete Google Pixel 2 like device, the launcher, the lock screen and whatnot gets converted to, you know, something like Pixel. So and to add to it, if you use Substrantum, you know, you will get an even better experience when it comes to the pixel, pixelifying your phone and stuff like that. So now that we have booted up, if we have a look at Magisk. 
so that's magisk for you guys now the root access is there so if you go to modules now as of now we don't have any module installed now you can manually go to you know xda or anywhere and download the modules of your choice and flash them from twrp that's one way now the easier way that i found was you just go to downloads see so over here um see james dsp this is the audio mod add audio android mic fix systemizer so there's a ton of modules see there's dolby atmos all right so let me just give you an example and let me show you how we actually you know flash a module um so google camera patch assistant enabler let's see where we have okay let's okay let's install google framework that's a small module so we can just click on install directly and just allow it now this particular magisk module what it does is it makes sure that your phone is detected as a google device in play store so you can download google apps which otherwise you would not be able to after that you can simply choose to reboot so that is magisk for you guys there are a ton of modules and you can customize there are endless possibilities but make sure you go ahead and back up everything before you do any of this now now that i've shown you how to install magisk and what are the various advantages of it let me just show you how to do a backup and then we will probably get back to substrantum so we will go to reboot recovery and touch to reboot again so what we are doing now basically is we are going back to twrp recovery and the current state of the phone is that everything is working fine magisk is installed we have one module installed that means we've tested that Magisk is running stable and everything is okay. So what we want to do next is we will go to TWRP and we will go ahead and do an Android backup. Now, for the new guys out there who are not used to TWRP, okay. So for the new guys who are not used to TWRP, an Android backup is basically like a system image that is created on your phone's internal memory. So you go to backup and you basically select everything here. Now EFS is very very important because that's your radio and stuff. I will talk about that later probably. So that's everything selected and swipe to backup. So what this basically does is once this backup is complete and you try a different module, something that is probably not compatible or doesn't go well with the OnePlus operating system and the phone goes in a boot loop or starts crashing or starts giving you forced closures that's when you can simply go back to twrp you can do a factory reset without wiping the internal storage and then you can restore and the phone will go back to the state it is on right now so that is very very useful so whenever you're using twrp the moment you install twrp the first and foremost thing that i would recommend is go ahead and do this so that you are safe and you don't lose your data at the same time it is always a good practice to make a copy of your TWRP and Android backup as well as the internal memory and keep it on a computer or a Mac or something, you know, a portable drive, which is not your phone. So that is a good practice. So let's go ahead and allow this to complete first. Okay, so the backup has completed successfully. It took about 134 seconds, which is like, which is like roughly two minutes and 14 seconds or something like that. Now, if you go to the home screen and if you click on restore, you see that it has a backup listed. That means the image is there. Unless you go ahead and wipe your internal storage or you corrupt your internal storage, you are secured. So last but not the least, the theming engine Substrantum is what we're going to talk about. So let's boot into the OnePlus system or, you know, let's boot the phone up as you would normally say. And I will show you what Substrantum is. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what Substrantum actually is and what it does. But just because we have Magisk root access, it becomes that much more easier to theme the phone. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at Substrantum. And uh, while the phone boots up, let me remind you guys to go ahead and participate in the giveaway. If the channel makes it to 4,000 subscribers in the month of January, I will be giving away a Xiaomi Redmi 5A. So let's go to the Play Store. Okay, not exactly. We already have Substrantum installed. There you go. All right, let's skip that. Let's. So this is Magisk for you guys. So we granted the X request and accept. Allow. Okay. 
So basically this is substantum and you know you can go ahead and enable and customize different themes or different frameworks for your phone. System update, system UI, status bar, you can color a lot of themes and if you just go to play store and type in substantum themes, there you go, you will find a ton of themes there. All right, so that's Substrantum, Magisk and TWRP backup for you guys. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more updates. Goodbye.